What's up everybody, this is Brandon and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with JK and down here today I will be cooking macaroni and soup which is one of my all-time favorite childhood uh, meals. The first time I ever ate this, I, I don't even know, probably before I was 10, my grandma made it for me. It's a, uh, I guess it's a staple in like Chinese comfort food cuisine, like any kind of Chinese cafe you go to, uh, you'll find macaroni soup. And it's funny because whenever we go to those places, I would order that and my parents would be like, you're wasting money, you know, we can make that for like $3 at home and you're paying like 6 or $7 here. Which is kind of the truth, now that I learned how to make it, it's literally four ingredients. And, uh, but I don't know, something about it, I remember I have a lot of childhood memories of when I was a kid. There would just be a giant pot there uh, for me all day if my parents and grandma were busy. And uh, every few hours I'd get hungry, grab a bowl and eat it. And I never got sick of it. And I've been eating it since, I'm, I mean, I'm 25 now, so, like almost 20 years. So the two main ingredients are obviously macaroni and soup. Um, what I have now with me, it's not macaroni to say. Well, it's a, it says it's a macaroni product, but small shells. Uh, you usually want to buy some kind of pasta that you can scoop with a spoon, so no spaghetti or like fettuccine, nothing long. So like shells, uh, macaroni, uh, bow tie pasta, stuff like that, anything works. Um, then I have chicken broth. Uh, you can make your own chicken broth too, but that's a whole nother video. I've made it before. I'm lazy. I'm lazy when it comes to cooking and cleaning, obviously. Uh, so you need chicken broth as well. Those are the two main ingredients. And today for proteins, what I have with me is hot dogs. Uh, I have it just for simplicity. Uh, you can literally use any protein you like. Uh, my family used to use you know, meat from leftover dinner last night. Ham's a pretty popular thing to be used. Uh, ground pork, chicken. Meat options are limitless. Or you can use no meat if you don't if you don't eat meat. Up to you. And I have my mom's gonna kill me. I have a bag of frozen veggies just because I'm lazy. I always have your veggies too, so you can poop well. And today we're gonna be extra fancy though and add an egg on top. It's like the icing on the cake, I guess. Um, once you finish your macaroni soup and you just have a fried egg on top, it just makes it look better, it tastes better when you break the yolk and it just oozes into the soup. Eggs and anything is great. Now I'm gonna show you how I cut my hot dogs. Uh, with all, everything in this, in this soup, you want it to be able to be scooped up with a spoon so you don't wanna put a whole hot dog into the pot. Uh, what I usually do with the hot dog is I slice it in half. And I use two hot dogs for one serving, but you can use more meat. That's why I think this dish is really awesome. You can use as much meat as you want, as much veggies as you want. It has a lot of variety when it comes to the ingredients. The base ingredients mainly is just the broth and the macaroni, but everything else, you could throw whatever you want in there as long as you think it makes a good combo. But yeah, I have two hot dogs cut in half. And I pretty much cube it into like, I don't know, like half inch. So it's very easy. So I just line it all four up and I just cut it into little half inch cubes. And they're roughly like a little bigger than the pasta, but then it'll all fit into a spoon together. Boom, what was that, like 15 seconds? Come on. I, I like using Spam, I like I have ham in the fridge too hot dogs, uh, when I'm feeling extra healthy and I actually use real vegetables, I'll use like ground pork or ground turkey. Yeah, those are probably the healthier options, ground turkey. I use ground turkey, fresh veggies, make my own chicken broth. I can make it gourmet as fuck, but today is not that day. I think this is a really good dish for you to use if you're like a student or you have a really busy schedule or you're on a budget. It's really, uh, it's really simple and it's a lot healthier than like throwing instant ramen or having some kind of microwavable food. I mean, in hindsight, I guess if you use like bad meat, I guess hot dogs aren't the healthiest things in the world. All right guys, so I already have a cup of chicken broth and a cup of water boiling in here. Next thing I do is put our cut up hot dog into the pot, like so. Gotta add your veggies, veggies help you poop. I know I shouldn't be talking about pooping uh, while I'm cooking, but the older I get, the more I realize how important it is to have really good shits. Because especially after having a dog, having to dig through his shit and bring it back to the vet to study it, it's really important to have like, I guess you could say normal shits. That's how you could tell you're healthy. You know, if your shits are hard, if you're constipated, or if it's ruddy, then something's wrong with your diet. Because there's only one way it comes out of your butthole. And that's through your mouth. <laughs> All right, due to movie magic, we already have a cup of pasta cooked, ready to go. Toss that in there as well. I, since hot dog is um already pretty salty for in itself, I don't add that much salt into the soup. Um, I usually add like a sprinkle, 
like about that much. So while that's coming up to a boil, we're gonna add the fancy part of the meal, which is the uh, fried egg. But I usually just keep it at medium low. I want the yolk to be relatively raw because I like the yolk to um, kind of pop into the soup and let it ooze in there. Put the cover over it, medium low, uh, let it steam a little as well. And now it's just a waiting game. First time I made this dish was probably in high school when I asked, I can't remember if it was my grandma or my mom to teach me how to make it. And I was really surprised how easy it was. And my lazy ass decided to make it even easier by using frozen veggies and hot dogs. Very rarely do does my family use like uh, frozen veggies and um, I guess pre-made meat. They like to keep everything as fresh as possible, even for something as simple as this. But uh, I, like I keep saying, I'm lazy. Oh my god, my yolk broke! Oh man, I'm sad. So my yolk broke. That happens. But we'll let it keep cooking. But anyways. My mom would probably really hate me after she watches this video and sees that I'm using frozen veggies because she would probably be like, your lazy ass could have got to the market, you know, got a stalk of celery, carrot, you know, some lettuce or something. Just cut it up like I did the hot dogs and throw it in there. You know, like I said, I'm lazy. Why do that when yeah, everything's already pre-cut for you and frozen in the bag? All right, guys, and that's pretty much the cooking. And now it's time to just put it in the bowl and plate it. So see, even the plating's simple. Everything's in a pot, you just move it to another pot, essentially. The egg, the fancy part. I know it's ugly, the yolk broke, but it's still nutrients. Lay it on top here, damn. And I love white pepper. Uh, I never use black pepper for this because it all usually just settles into the bottom of the soup and I don't think it adds as much flavor as white pepper. I, mean, I grew up using white pepper too, so just sprinkle a little bit of that. Oh, way too much. <laughs> A little bit too much, but nothing wrong with spicier food. And that's it. And I also use this for, um, if you guys know what macros is, is essentially in the fitness world, is counting your fat, protein, and carbs. And this bowl of uh, macaroni soup has about 84 carbs, like eight fat, not including the egg though. 84 carbs, eight fat. The hot dog's actually only like 16 grams of protein, but if you use like ground turkey, it'll be closer to like 30. So it's relatively pretty healthy if you're on a macro diet or it, just in a general any diet. It's good when you're sick too. I mean, it's soup and it's really filling and it's way healthier than having like instant noodles or anything like that. And it's obviously, it's really easy. This is, this is all I'm gonna have to clean, excluding this bowl and a spoon. Now I'm gonna try it. It's not gonna look as cool anymore because the yolk looks all ugly and shit. But we're gonna cut through it. It's not working. But yeah, let this egg just soak in there. Let's grab a hot dog too. And, oh damn, it's gonna be hot. Tastes exactly like every time I cook it. It's very simple, there's nothing really awesome about it but I think that's why I like it it's at least for me personally it, it's a taste of my childhood and I do plan to eat this the rest of my life it, and it tastes exactly what you think it tastes chicken broth hot dogs and an egg uh, there's something I definitely want to teach my kids to cook especially if you know they do go into college and stuff um, I know my diet in college was pretty bad I mean everybody's diet's relatively bad in college eating all that uh, instant noodles filled with like, I don't know, MSG and stuff like that. Uh, this is a lot healthier in my opinion, especially if you don't use fro anything frozen, that'd be even better. Um, and this is a comfort food, it's a staple in at least my family and I think in Chinese culture for the most part as well. And actually, this is a pretty common breakfast item in like Hong Kong or like Cantonese areas. It's like I said, everything's in a bowl, it's really fast, really easy. And for anybody on the go, this is the perfect start to your morning. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my very short and easy recipe that I make. Um, there's nothing special to it, you just gotta add a little bit of love. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Put down in the comments if you guys are gonna try making this or if you don't like it, which I don't think, I think everybody likes it. 
and uh, make sure to watch any previous videos right over here. Well, uh, the cooking that I'm going to be doing today is cooking that I've done in what maybe like three, four years. It's a really long time. So 